This spongy 1.4 kilogram mass of fatty tissue is the human brain. It controls all body function, learning, emotion and memory. It creates extraordinary works of science and art. And it's capable of doing roughly 100 trillion calculations per second. The brain is the most complex organ in the human body and one which neuroscientists admit they barely understand. So it's not surprising that when the brain malfunctions, it's sometimes interpreted as a psychiatric disorder. My worst fear was, oh my gosh, if I tell anyone, they're going to put me in a mental institution. 22-year-old Rosalina Castillo is from Los Angeles. Since the age of seven, Rosalina has lived with a brain disorder that affects her virtually every minute of the day. Rosalina has trichotillomania, an obsessive compulsive disorder that causes her to pull out all the hair on her body. I've been pulling for 15 years and when you put anywhere from minutes to hours, it could be five hours, it could be 10 hours in a day. It's wearing and sometimes there's points where I have to stop pulling because my elbow can't keep going back and forth. Up to 11 million people in the United States alone suffer from trichotillomania and no one's really understood what causes it, let alone find a cure. Until recently, doctors thought it was a psychiatric disorder mainly treatable by therapy. But one researcher, working with mice like this, now believes it could be genetic. One of the things that we understand least well is how do genes uh, affect behavior and in particular uh, all the different uh, neuropsychiatric disorders. And so this is sort of the last frontier in terms of the diseases that we know least about. Professor Mario Capecchi is a geneticist at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City in the United States. He's been studying these mice using a process he pioneered called gene targeting. What gene targeting allows us to do is to modify in any conceivable manner any chosen gene. What we do normally is to first isolate that gene and then we change its DNA sequence. Give this gene a new function, make it defective, uh, all over the body or in a particular part of the body. Every one of us is made up of millions of cells containing the genetic code that determines everything about us as living creatures. How we grow, what we look like, and as Mario is discovering, how our brain functions. Genetically, mice and humans are almost identical. In fact, 99.9% of our genes are the same. And so often if we have a defect in a mouse, if we generate a defect in a mouse, we'll often see a parallel in the human. Mario's discoveries could point to an explanation for trichotillomania. This behavior is actually very similar to humans with trichotillomania. Furthermore, Mario has found the HOXB8 gene in parts of the brain normally associated with obsessive compulsive disorders. It's evidence that the cause of trichotillomania could be a brain malfunction caused by genes, not a brain disorder caused by a psychological problem like stress, nor a physical habit like scratching an itch. One thing you can ask, well, maybe they just feel itch, okay? However, these mice, if you put a normal mouse in the same cage with this, these particular mice, they not only want to groom themselves, but they also want to groom the other. So that tells us the brain somehow is to be involved. That is, a mouse can't feel the itch on another mouse. And therefore, they, they have a compulsion to do this grooming. Mario is now running tests to see if the HOXB8 gene is the gene that causes the same problem in humans. If it is, there could be a chance of modifying it to provide a cure. That's some way down the line, but it's an important new source of hope for sufferers like Rosalina. I would feel um, really f if uh, Dr. Kopecki finds that it's genetic just because there's an actual reason, not a possibility of it being mental. There's an, a full, like, rock-solid reasoning behind it. It gives me hope.